What's up everybody? Welcome back to my garage. Made it through winter. Winter's kind of over. It's still a little chilly out. It's probably like, I don't know, 40 something, 50 something. Snow is mostly melting. Still got some in the front and you know, in our backyard where the sun, sun isn't hitting. But anyway, I went ahead and uh, pulled, if you didn't, if you didn't know already, I have a 90s bed on my, uh, my uh, Chevy K10 and I went ahead and pulled that off. So, and got, and I have a bed on it. I made it pulled off by myself with a little X ratchet strap formation in the middle with an engine hoist. Probably wouldn't work if you didn't have little tie down things in the corners, but. The plan is uh, to put on an original bed, and then while the bed is off, to clean up the frame. But this frame is actually like in really good condition. I know a lot of people will probably be a little jealous, maybe, but that's a kind of a uh, one one thing I really liked about the truck when I got it was the frame was pretty was pretty solid. It looked like in the past someone had kind of uh, painted it, restored it. So it, uh, it's in good condition. There's no no major rust, honestly. It's just little stuff like this, so. It's got some weird bumper on it. I'll have to grind this off. And then I'll have to grind this bar off, steel off, because they used that for the 90s bed, and I don't believe I need that. And then they welded it on right there. I thought I'd grind it off, and I might smooth that out and try and fix that grind a little later, but... For now, I'm just going to, you know, kind of wire, wire wheel it down and then I got some nice Eastwood product for it. I'll pull out the brake lines and then I'll, I'm going to pull the whole rear end out. So, should be plenty of room to do everything. Also, I don't know if I mentioned before, but I had picked up a kind of a Vortec long block for my truck. And it had spun bearing and stuff. I paid 200 bucks for it. And, uh... The crank and pistons were kind of trash, so I didn't... I could use the block, but then I had to buy a new uh, rotating assembly, which, you know, I could. I just... I wanted to, I wanted to kind of do... Re reuse the stuff. Just do a quick freshen up, really. So, I'll sell the block. I won't lose any money on it, luckily. But I managed to pick up another um, Vortec engine uh, yesterday, and here it is right here. This one's actually, like, fully assembled. You know, nothing special to look at, just a basic late 90s truck engine. Um, I had them let me spin it over before I bought it, and it spun over nice and free by hand. Did a full 180 with the ratchet. So, it's got all the accessories on, which I do not need. But we'll get to taking this apart eventually. It just, they only paid 300 bucks for it, so. Nice little thing right there, but. I'll probably go ahead and, uh, I guess I'll get started today. I, I washed the frame a little yesterday with the power washer, and I can probably go ahead and, I might, I'll pull the truck out, back it up, and I guess get started on uh, cleaning up the frame a little bit, so I'll do that. So I didn't really show too much of it, but I finally got this weird bumper they had cut off because it was welded on and bolted on and there's not, there wasn't much room to get to it, but I got it off. 
And for the most part, this tr frame already had this paint, I guess, or something on it. It was pretty tough. So my wire wheel wouldn't take it off at all. So I'd use a paint stripping disc and a little bit of flap disc. So for the most part, I got the frame back here pretty stripped down to metal. And I think here pretty soon, I'm gonna probably flip the truck around and then I'll go ahead and uh, drop the rear end. And then I can take the leaf springs out and I can be able to get to this stuff a little easier. I think the inside of the frame, it's, I don't know if I can just, I think I can just maybe hit it with a wire brush and then paint over it. I don't know. This side's looking a little, a little more paint, so it's, I don't even know the first place, I don't even know in the first place if I should have brought this down to full metal, if I could have just, I don't think I could have painted right over it with the Eastwood uh, Platinum Encapsulator. And I looked it up and it says the Eastwood Platinum Encapsulator is supposed to be able to go over bare metal, so. But that's probably it for today. Um, like I said, I think it's pretty much ready to be flipped around and then I'll drop the rear end and have more room and I can take care of underneath the frame and the insides.